Gosh, I love hot tubs. They are relaxing, they are quite chill, and they are definitely the place I should definitely be before the apocalypse. Uh, good afternoon everybody, my name is Javier and welcome back to Pokemon Sapphire Connection Lock. Uh, last week I was able to defeat the Team Aqua and their hijinks. And now I'm gonna challenge the gym leader in plan in I forgot about this place, but the four gym leader, Flannery, yeah that's her name, Flannery. And get our four gym badge. But before we do that, let me show the team real quick. I train now to level 28, which I think is the same level as Flannery's ace, the Turco. And this is where I'm scared because, well, Flannery is no pushover and I think she wants to almost wipe my entire team at some point, though I'm afraid. But I'm not afraid of my team because my team is powerful, but, you know, you know what happened with what, some bad luck and all, so, you know, you can never be too careful. So, without further ado, and with the luck on our side, let's begin. And here we are at the gym, and there's two holes, but, and I need to fall on one. Ouch. I need to go here, right? I think one of them has a trainer. Oh, there it is. A new Pokemon with 10, 392 degree hit? I mean, you mean Celsius or Fahrenheit? Because I have no idea which one is which. Cool trainer saying we like to battle and sends out Kekli on this jerk. This jerk has an ability color change, which means that it can change to the pa to the type of the move it was hit last hit with. But I'm kidding with a normal type attack, so it's probably gonna be worthless. But it can be dangerous because this Kekleon has both flamethrower and flash, so I should not be throwing around. Okay, Kekleon okay, is tell that's one. I think there's a couple of them missing. I didn't burn hardly enough. No, I think you burn quite enough, okay? I need to go. Okay, calm down, Javi, you can do this. You have to kick the pot of everyone who gets in your way. I'm trying to relieve my stress. Don't come along and stress me out. You think you are the stressed one? Look at me! I think I'm shaking and I think I'm sweating basically and not only because of the hot team that's looking around but also because I'm nervous, okay? Strength picks up! Okay, one of them is down, one of them is down. Act. I hope Flannery flames you good. I don't think I, I it is 2002, right? So no social media is around, so we'll be fine. I think there are no trainers here. Whee! Let's go through here. I think I'm supposed to go here, right? I think I have this whole place memorized, so... So I was able to fight Larry without problem, but before we do that, let me adjust my team real quick. We're gonna start with Peanut Butter, and then tag into Ceviche in case things get dicey. Okay, let's do this. Welcome! No, wait. Puny Trainer, how good to see you've made it here. I have been entrusted with the... Uh, no, wait, darn it. Oh my god, this girl is me. I am Flannery, and I'm the gym leader here. Uh, don't dare underestimate me though, I have been leader for only a short time. With skills incredible from my grandfather, I shall uh, demonstrate the hot moves we have grown on this island. I sometimes forget Flannery actually has a personality. Although I think it's better showing up for Sapphire, but that's besides the point. Double kick! Oh, this is not good. And that's not that bad. Like, we don't have a lot of special moves, so light screen is probably not gonna do anything. Although that would have been hurtful if he was the other way around. Okay, we have another slug muscle. Peanut butter can take care of that with... Uh, let's poke Wait, actually... No, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, actually. 
I was thinking of setting up bulk up with these two slugmas, but I didn't realize that Torkoal might mess up my plans. Also, my good with this slugma, a uh, flamethrower. Oh man, I forgot about that. Okay, double kick now! Okay, one of them is down, one of them is down. It's time for us to continue with this parade. Okay, Torko. Okay, Torko is the bigger threat in this team, so I'm gonna send out Ceviche. It's Ceviche's time to shine. And also, show to attack this Ceviche has 100 HP, and also, Torko's white smoke prevents Ceviche's intimidate from working. That's good to know. But you know what else is good to know? Dragon Rage! Ceviche, destroy the Torko! And please pray that we have. Oh, we actually do a lot of damage, actually. Oh, that's not good. Okay, did more damage than I expected, but it's okay, it's okay. We can still destroy them with. Okay, I'm pretty sure that if I go for Dragon Rage, you're gonna reach the red and it's gonna go for full. Oh, uh, Hybrid Potion, so I better use Fight in the meantime. Fight! Oh, has flail. Okay, that's good to know, good to know. Okay, Ceviche, use Dragon Rage! Oh my goodness, that was a close one, not gonna lie. Oh, I guess I was trying too hard. I finally recently become a gym leader. I try too hard to become someone I'm not. I have to do things my natural way. If I don't, my Pokemon will be confused. Thanks for teaching me that. For that, you deserve this. And I got myself the heat patch from Flattery. Quite flattering, if you ask me. If you have a heat patch, all Pokemon up to level 50, even those you get in traits from other people will obey you completely. And let Pokemon use them HM move strength outside of battle. This is a token of my appreciation, don't be shy about taking it. That HM contains overheat. That move inflicts serious damage on the opponent, but it also sharply cuts the special attack of the Pokemon using it. It might not be suitable for longer battles. So it's a one-kid wonder, got it. Bye! Javier, long time no see! Long time no see you too, mate. Oh, when well, I was visiting the hot spring, you got the leverage gym badge. You must have caught good Pokemon. No, I guess you raised some. I guess it would be okay for you to have this. Oh, nice, a pair of goggles. I always wanted this. With those goggles, you have no trouble getting through the desert near Road 101. But wow, Javier, challenging gyms, you're trying hard because you don't want to lose to me, I bet. I mean, sure. Javier, I think I should challenge that your dad in Battle Gym. Javier, see you again. Oh wait, you're doing the gym battle stuff? That's pretty neat. But yeah, our next now they have our four batches. The next fight we have to do is against our father. And he's someone to behold. So we're gonna do that later and now we're gonna go train. Or at least get some items in the meantime now they have some free time. Because that took shorter than I expected and with less casualties. Okay, I'm gonna put Pancake in the middle. Okay, now we got the goggles. I think we can visit the tester from round 101 and get our and get our catch in the desert. Okay, let's, let's wait in here and see what we run into. And our catch is... Oh no. Voltoid. I mean, Voltoid is a good Pokemon defensively most of the time, but the thing about Voltoid is that I think they can explode. And that's not good for us. And they, they exploded. On the bright side, at least they didn't kill Pancake, the weapon devastating actually. Oh yeah, which reminds me, never ever train in this desert. Not only they have exploding bolt toys, but also they have what else? What else they have? They have a tramp pinch with arena trap, which can be frustrating. And also we have Pokemon that use a uh, sand bale, which increases invasion during sandstorm. So yeah, even more annoying than that. I'll be right back. And we're back here, and let's see if we can fight some trainers in here. Hey, those gold goggles suit you, but I think they look better on me. That's like who they took better on with the battle. 
Wait, if you don't have goggles, how can you see in this sandstorm? This is gonna hurt your eyes. Alright, I probably told you, when I said the Pokemon have sand mail, I'm referring specifically to sand food because they have increased evasion. And that's just a jerk move, actually. You are evasive already, and now you are taking our accuracy. That's a little bit of a jerk move. Oh, I know, so you know, Sandstorm cuts half your age, uh, a little bit of HP in each battle, so it's not recommended that you fight them. And you have poison! What else do you have? Actually, yeah, what else do you have? You have poison, evasion, sand attack. What else? Defense curl! I should not probably mention that. It will be wonderful and a blast when we get. It will be a one. It will be a blast when we get aerial ace. Luckily, we only have to deal with this on this uh, specific area because, as you can imagine, this is an island and this is the only sandy area in the whole game. Also, that's gonna hurt. Hey Waffles, can you give us a hand here? This? And they also have the... I didn't talk about any insult to injury. I'm gonna use Protect because I have a feeling that we, we are probably gonna outspeed. I couldn't see what's happening on my side because of the gold goggles. Well, you lost the bell, so give me your gold goggles. That was a bet, right? Coward. Uh, but as you can see, we're not gonna fight in this area any longer because it's, uh, it's basically a dumb idea. So instead, we're just gonna pick what we're looking for and... In this. Wood fossil or the other one? Wood or the club fossil? Honestly, design-wise prefer Armaldo over Cradilly, but Cradilly is far more useful, so I'm gonna pick Cradilly. Because you never know, okay? You never know if you're gonna need it. And there goes the other one, bye! Okay, well, before we leave this area, I think I remember I have something to do first. Oh, wait. We have a repel. We have a super repel, that could be useful. Okay, now that we are at Fiery Cave and we have the HM for strength, we can use this to push the boulder. And this is gonna be useful because it has some interesting loot. I'm gonna push these boulders around and... Ooh, an item. TM06, this is... Wait, this is what? Wait, uh, TM06, that's Toxic, yeah! Toxic is gonna be important for my strategy against Norman, so I it was glad that I was able to have it. But one lights in here, actually. Bingo. Oh nice! I got a Firestone. Imagine if I was able to catch a Bulpix, which is the only Pokemon that can evolve with a Firestone in this area, at least as far as I know. And yeah, I'm, I'm at least I will be able to evolve it. But seriously, imagine if I was able to catch a Bulpix. That would be wonderful.
Okay, now that I got my TM for that sake, I think what the only thing left to do before ending the episode is go back to Rossboro City and get the fossil. And we're back at Rossboro, and the place we need to visit right now is this area. The, the Stone HQ, I forgot. Uh, Devon Corporation, yeah. Go right here, and I think one of these creators over here has... Well, actually, no, there's two interesting characters in here. And try to develop the device that visually proves the dream of Pokemon. But it's not going well. Well, just wait until generation 5 where that thing actually becomes a reality. But anyways, what am I supposed to talk to? Alright, this scientist? It's Pokemon app. Our solar president designed to learn about the feelings of Pokemon. Would you like to describe its picture in detail? Okay, no, I do not. Talking with Pokemon, but I haven't had much success. I think it's this guy who knows how to provide fossils. And it's working! Wait, that thing you have there, is that a Pokemon fossil? Would you like to bring that Pokemon back to life? I came with my newly developed fossil regenerator. Let's do this right away. It takes a long time to work, so uh, would you take a scroll? Actually, yeah, I can figure out a life hack for this. I just go, and there you go. Is it ready yet? Thanks for waiting, your fossilized Pokemon has been brought back to life. The fossil was an ancient Pokemon lift. It was, uh, you got too many Pokemon, you have no room for this one. And I cannot uh, put Pokemon on the team because it's a connection lock, so I cannot put any power in the PC. Oh well, you can keep that fossil. It's not like I'm gonna need it or anything like that. See you later! But yeah, that's all we have for today because there's not much to do outside of fighting our dad. So I'm just gonna go to the Pokemon Center and rest a little bit. No, our Pokemon are here. I think it's time for us to end this episode, but don't worry because next Monday we're gonna fight against our dad, Norman, and become the best trainers in this part of the region. But yeah, that's all for today. Thank you all so much for joining. I hope you all have a fantastic time. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, leave a bell notification, comment, stuff like that because I really appreciate it. I really hope you all have fun. Don't forget to get up yourself because you deserve it. I love you all, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody. Love you all.